Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Filippo here, and today we talk about skin tones. When we talk about skin tones, we just don't want to select things and, you know, smooth everything up we just want to fine tune our selection and fine tune our skins in the correct way without overdoing things without exaggerating with things and with using the proper tools in the right direction so let's jump inside the intro and let's clean some pores up so today we're gonna take a look at skin when to smooth it how to smooth it and i would love to also take a look at this specific plugin called face refinement but i think that I will make a separate video about this because in this specific tutorial I want to use extra plugin. I will use by the way one extra plugin, but I want to show you how, you know, I do specifically on my timelines uh, without plugins. So, above all, I want to create another source. You might have seen this on one of my latest video. I want to create a corrector and copy my CSD so in this way on my input I will have Rec 709 and not logarithmic space. So you will see by this that I'm applying a conversion from C log 2 to Rec 709. And from this, you might say, yeah, in this way you will be able to make your selection. So as you can see, if I go and qualify right now and I qualify my skin, it's for sure better than deactivating the CST and make a selection. Selection from logarithmic space is really broad and it's really hard to take specific colors. So it's good for us to activate it and have really specific selection. So have your conversion activated, convert your camera for Rec 709 or for P3, whatever you'll be doing, and select your skins. So for this specific video, I think I will pick just the highlighted part. So I don't want the darker areas. I'll also go for acceleration, by the way. And in this way, we will have a really good selection. Again, this one, it's a really great method when you have commercial with tons of shots from models, when you got tons of shots with skin tones made in the same area. Obviously, I'm not a really big fan of qualifiers, but when it comes to go just on specific areas of your skin it's a must to have it so while i have this selection i'm gonna create a serial before and this serial before i'm gonna go on add node and i will make a layer node so i want to drag my selection on the first layer node on the bottom one actually i want to blend them together with a composite mode and this will be lighter color so in this way, I will be blending my two nodes all together, my two correctors together. And the thing that I'm going to do on this one will be blending with the like lighter color method to the other one. Why this? So one of the, I might say, most used method is just, and I will show you by deactivating the this node right here, will be just going there and blur the skin a bit in this way. But this creates a messiness all around my skin tones. Another way will be cranking down the mid tone details. But again, you are losing details in this way. So, in the same way, it's good to use them both, but just blend them together with the original clip. So, let's check this out. And actually, we are blending it together with the logarithmic space um, original clip just before it's been converted so it's a more accurate way because you will be applying the conversion after this really smooth you know um way that i'm gonna show you and it's smooth actually because we are applying this variation these things on the log you know um on the log clip you just have the rex on i selection while we are still on the log space so right here let's take a look at that i want to blur a bit my skin and you will see that actually something is happening here and it's in the same time I want to add a bit of mitten deal just a touch so this specific combo is smoothing up a bit my skin but is retaining the details so just by going a bit here 
where everything is more clear, where I can see the pores. By the way, just this selection, so just look at this area right now. I just have a smoother, you know, skin right here. You can play a bit even more with this, maybe cranking down this a bit and playing a bit more, a bit less with the mid-tone detail. And this is, in my opinion, the best way if you just want to, you know, have a pretty smooth skitten but retain all the details. But the great trick by using this layer is that now I can create more layer and just multiplicate what I've done here. So you might say that obviously every time that I add a layer, this thing has to be reapplied, but that's not the case. I might create another layer and I might take a plugin like Beauty, that one plugin that comes with the Vince Resolve, and I can also blend the same selection with this, with beauty, on the advanced way. And we can just see separately what it's doing just by use diffuse lighting. And beauty actually it's a mix up of what we've done here with midtone detail and with the blur. And in the same time, it can just blend them all together with the same method. So even here we can crank down the texture. You can recover what you want to recover. By the way, this is just to let you understand that by letting them play all together, we are just smoothing up skin tone, retaining the details of our skin. It's always good with this method to maintain one layer with a clean input. So in this way, you will have always those you know, natural details on, on the on the top part, and then you'll be delivering everything with a layer node to your look, to whatever you will be doing here. So if I just open this up a bit, I might say that here I can create my dodge and burning with the parallels, here I can create my look, and now I can do whatever I want for, you know, the dodge and burning, maybe I just want to create something and feather out him on other parts and whatever you want to do with other one create your look create your method by the way and again specific thing about this is just carrying around your selection of your skin tones made at the exact beginning and just blend everything together with this composite mod with lighter color and in this way you will be really accurate maintaining you know, details in the pores, details in your skins. And if you're still spending hours around the web searching for the life-changing tutorial, be known that the only thing you need to learn is how to craft a methodical and properly craft working path. I made two color grading masks, one thing for beginner and one for expert colorists. In these two masks, I compressed 10 years of on-ground experience into more than 25 hours of video content. If you want to level up your color grading skills, check the link below. Until the next time, be brave and make it better.